Kopiwiasan from Sabah is Kokane. I am also JJ and welcome back to another Clash Royale episode. Today, we are going to embark on the modern Clash Royale challenge and um, it's pretty easy guys. It's nothing much. There's no three strikes out. It's just that you gotta win matches instead of crowns. You have to win about 20 matches to get your, uh, well, five three musketeers. Uh, as you can see, I've been through 19 games already. And um, just gonna we're, we're just gonna watch uh, some replays a bit just to discuss on um, you know some mechanics and fundamentals of Clash Royales. Uh, we're gonna see the decks I, I I used and now I'm currently using. Currently I am using this deck uh, because Minor Poison is just so great. Minor Control is just really great, and because uh, because of the Modern Royale, a lot of people are playing uh, a lot of people are playing the Royal Hogs, so. Great splash damage is definitely from the Mega Knight. And uh, Mega Knight takes care of a lot of troops. Um, uh, and I love the Magic Archer. I kind of fell in love with the Magic Archer. I'm really hoping that this deck is very viable for me in ladder, but unfortunately most of these cards are not uh, to that uh, level yet. Uh, we'll see when the when the season restarts. But when I started off the challenge, I was a bit frustrated because the, I tried the Royal Hog build. So I said I built, I used up, uh, I copied someone's deck that I was up against. Uh, let's go for a win. Okay, so I lost. You can see I, that I lost in um, against the flying machine uh, deck, which is below all the machines and the royal hogs. Uh, it was not easy, um, even though I had executioner and mega knight and tornado and even um, sparky. If I put if I clump them all together, uh, but it wasn't enough, and it was pretty hard to deal with the flying machine when you don't have fireball. And there's no fly fireball in modern royal, as you guys know. Uh, but let's check out this this challenge. Uh, yeah, before I changed to the minor minor control deck, so we're gonna check out this game. I kind of don't remember the game, but this is gonna test out. This is gonna test out my um, my. Oops, too low. Okay. Whoops. Okay, my bad. All right. So with my hand, uh, I really don't want to start off with um, a heavy card just because I don't know if he's gonna play poison. So I waited for a bit, see what he puts down, and he puts down. The Royal Ghost, I went the opposite lane. Um, actually, I sh this was a mistake. I should have gone the same lane and it would have dealt with the. <coughs> would have dealt with the. well, with the with the troops. Instead, I managed to place the. I managed to use up a lot of elixir just to defend that with the. Uh, with the regards and the executioner. So I'm hoping that Psaki will get a shot, but unfortunately, he has the Electro Wizard. So this is was, this was gonna be a pretty hard matchup already. Currently, he's up on Elixir. I'm just gonna leave it. I don't think I was gonna put anything more into this. Well, I was wrong. I put more, even more into it. Uh, well, he kind of put some into it. So, I don't have real, a really great answer for the Royal uh, Ghost. So, I use my bats. Uh, he, he got a few good hits. Nothing too substantial. I'm still uh, Elixir down. So, I guess I'm just gonna wait till I, I get up there. Um, he he could have rushed me if he really want to. Oh, well, which he did. What did I do? I put down the Mega Knight. You see, there's a lot of misplay in this game, and it was amazing that I won. Uh, it goes to show you that you can definitely recover from uh, anything. He hasn't seen my graveyard, so I'm just, I'm just, I just wanna. What I really wanna, what I really was doing was trying to bait out his, his poison. As you can see, I was trying to make sure that my execution stays alive and I put on my guard just at the right time but again I'm, I'm I'm really using up a lot of elixir just to defend his push and my push is just not gonna do anything so he did he defends that quite well good enough I have to put my night witch after this and yeah uh, pleasure is very hard ah so here's where I found out like okay so he has poison so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to uh, put down the graveyard but the thing is I don't really have a great uh, tank to do it with and he puts down his um, his uh, cannon card. So I, I start my Mega Knight from the back. Okay, I'm building up a push. Uh, luckily, the cannon card didn't go for my uh, for my uh, tower. Then I just I just went at it because I knew it was gonna go all out. I think he was assuming that uh, he was assuming that I was gonna go with Sparky at the at the bridge. But uh, luckily for me, the Mega Knight reached the tower, and now I gotta defend this big push. But good news for me, I had enough elixir to block all those four troops. Splash it down, didn't manage to hit everything. Want to deal with the cannon card. Again, I think he's going too aggressive. 
and should really save his poison because the graveyard really hurts. Unless he's going at, on the basis that my deck is so heavy that I'm unable to put a graveyard, which is sort of correct. But now I'm, I'm gonna go really hard um, on this. So I'm trying to read what he's gonna play. Maybe he's gonna play his um, uh, his uh, Electro Wizard or his Goblin. So I wanted to bring that all down, put it together, clump it all together, see what he has. Unfortunately, it dies. What do I have? Okay. So this is where I put my knife in too far back, but it's okay. My Mega Knight will take care of it. Just trying to kill off my Night Witch, but I don't think he has Zap, so I brought my bats in. See what's gonna happen. Graveyard, no good answer. Used up a lot of elixir just to to defend that Mega Knight, and that's not gonna be good enough. I didn't, I didn't really need to add a little bit more because the damage was getting there. You see, uh, they couldn't. Uh, the Goblin, the Goblin Gang is not the best answer to the graveyard, and there you go. Uh, oh, we're in overtime, and all I just all I need to make sure is just to um, you know trick him, uh, trick him to use up his poison again, which he does. This guy is making all the wrong plays and playing that. So again, I put on the Mega Knight. Boom. Oh no, I didn't put on the Mega Knight. Didn't put on the Mega Knight. Then put on the Executioner, kill that graveyard, and just waited for my um, uh, yeah. I just waited for my tornado to give me value. It was all my. Sparky was never gonna go at it, but then one skeleton, one little Larry managed to get that last touch. Alright, uh, even though I won with the deck, I thought that deck was just too heavy and I wanted something that I can control the game. That one I was I felt like I'm always behind them. So I changed up I changed up the decks, wanted to keep the Magnite and the Tornado, uh, brought in everything else. Love Sparky, love Miner, love Bandit, love Archer, and let's jump right into this game. So he's using a graveyard. I, I'm very fortunate that I packed the poison in this deck, so this graveyard's gonna be everywhere. Uh, but one thing is gonna be hard to deal with if he does have a Mega Knight. So he puts down a Mega Minion, and I sort of uh, get the hint that he's all he's running. He's running um, a graveyard. See, Mega Knight is the best answer to the cannon card. It just is. It goes. It goes like Half Life. Now you Sparky. He tries to he tries to shoot them away. Got my bandit to go through. Bandit is now tanking for the zappies and zappies are just getting all the damage. You see, such a nice deck, awesome deck. Hopefully the the next the live match I'm gonna play I'm gonna win it. Call it a night and that's it. Puts down the cannon card. I don't know why he's switching lane. I, I really don't know why he's switching lane. Maybe he's just worried. Um, I really I'm just trying to justify why did he switch lane? Why did he need to go for the left lane instead of the Pokemon. I guess he just don't want me to defend that. That's the first time he's uh, seeing my poison. So as you can see, with poison and just any of your troops down, you can you can easily take care of um, yeah of the graveyard. Now with uh, Archer not in the poison, managed to take care of that. Bandits down. Just putting a lot of pressure as I can. Uh, does he have anything? No. Nope. Zappy's outside there, trying to distract it, not doing the job. Archer taking care of that. And Skadoosh guys, easy as ABC. So I feel like I'm off screen. Okay, so that's how you play the deck. It's about minor when you need to, and minor, I guess you have to defend when you don't have your Mega Knight. I don't think Bandit's the best defense against other troops except for all the Prince, but yeah, so uh, be very aware of your deck. Uh, so this deck, you know, archers are all for the aerials or the small troops clump, clump, clump together. And I like how the uh, how the diversified this deck is because you can pull the minor, uh, you can pull troops to focus on the minor. Let bandit go through, or your archer go through, or your, even your mega knight. And tornado allows you to really play around with the geom, the geometry of archer's targeting ability. And he can easily aim the tower just to finish off. You don't have to rely on your poison. You can rely on your archer and the tornado to angle it in a way that the archer can get a few more uh, a few more hits on the tower. So we're gonna go at it. The 19th game. Let's do this. Nine minutes in. All right. So I have the, the well. I have this as my starting. I have archer here, but I'm just gonna cycle. See what I have next for my sixth card. Okay, he has that. He goes there. I'm just gonna go minor left. See what he has uh, to do. I want to see if he respects the minor. He respects the minor. He definitely respects the minor. I'm gonna bandit it. I'm gonna see. Oh. Daddy, I'm gonna have to do something about that. I'm gonna have to let the. 
I'm gonna to, I'm going to have to let the the, the goblin dot do so, uh, do something about that. So now my um, my Mega Knight is definitely gonna be dedicated to um, yeah, definitely gonna be dedicated to the <laughs> the elite barbarian. It's actually the first elite barbarian I've seen so far. So I'm gonna have to find a way to distract uh, what. I'm gonna first do this. Uh, Bandit's gonna and dies. Bandit's gonna take care of the miner. He's also playing a minor control deck. I guess we're gonna go at it. <clears throat> I'm, again, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna eat up the damage. He's either gonna put the elite barbarian. Oh, he doesn't put the elite barbarian down. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna go for minor poison. It's either he's gonna go for elite barbarian. It'll be hilarious if he does. Is he doing it? No, he's not doing it. So I guess I'm gonna do that. Uh. Get distracted. He's gonna get one hit. One hit. Yeah, he's gonna get one hit. And that's gonna get another hit. I'm gonna have to do this. Yep. I didn't have my bandit in play, but it's okay. The zappies are the best answer. So I don't. I could. I could rush, but I need enough elixir to defend elite barbarian. So that's one thing you gotta remember. What you have, guys. What you have. So I'm gonna start my bandit from the back. I'm gonna ready my. Um, my uh, my Mega Knight, is he gonna do it? Yep, he does it. And Skadoosh, one will take care of that. Bandit will take care of that. He gets, he get. I think he's gonna kill all my Bandit. Nope. Bandit is taking care of it. Oh, and he has his own Mega Knight. That's incredible. So I'm gonna have to play Zappy. Oh, that's gonna be bad. Okay, I'm gonna have to put it here. Bandit has to take care of that. I have to defend that a lot, but can he do anything? Yes, he does that. Oh, dang. I hate that he had a jump. Okay, looks like I'm don't get another hit. Okay, he doesn't get another hit. I'm gonna minor poison. Uh, here. I'm gonna have to do that. That piece. Come on. And boom, because he wants to play that. Why? You could go for the other one, but you go for that instead. Archer for that. Knight for that. Come on. Bandit, save my archer! Yes, he's save my archer. Now I'm gonna go all in. Poison. And let's see you get distracted. Oh. oh, and the archer gets it. Does the archer get it? The archer will get it. The archer will get it. The archer gets it. And we win it. Baby, that was good. With that, with that archer and bandit placement, I just knew it that my archer could take could take it home. My bandit could distract or my, my miner could distract so he had a lot to defend and I win it. Uh, son, live game, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, Game of Kokane, awesome and Clash Royale, obviously. Um, I wouldn't say the best but you know, I broke, I broke top 200 mid-season. It's not like everyone didn't play the game, I think. Whatever it is guys, I'm back to 5,000, happy up here, sky high, really hoping to get the Master 2 again, someday Master 3, if I have all my cards leveled up to full. Uh, still my deck is the Goblin Bait, but I really want this deck. This deck is my, like, my baby right now. I really love playing in Classic Challenge and Grand Challenges. It gives me 12 wins, and I can't wait to use it in tournament actually. Uh, there's, uh, there's rumors of the nerf to uh, Valkyrie and Royal Hogs. Valkyrie I understand because Valkyrie is everywhere, but Royal Hogs, why the hate man? Why the hate? Royal Hogs is not like, you know, Giants or Royal Giants or even Hogs. They, they didn't even see the top of the ladder yet. They're not even in the top. I don't think they're in the top. Are they in the top? We're having a conversation now. We are having a conversation. Let's see if they're at the top. They're not at the top. You see, it's still giant. It's kind of cards. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, Mortar decks. Who loves Mortar decks? You love Mortar decks? Then you disgusting. You disgusting, you know that. Anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a, uh, leave a comment below. Like this video if you liked it. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.